Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother MUJ from Sunnah Strength. Today's video is slightly different, guys. Usually I'm telling you what to do, giving you advice, telling you what not to do. This time, guys, I'm going to take you into my life, right? I'm going to give you an insight in what I will do in Ramadan. And inshallah, you lot can take some parts from it if you lot think it will benefit you. And you know, we we'll could get through this journey together during Ramadan. So stay tuned. I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning, throw thunder That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock. I have no fear whatsoever of anybody or anything. So what is my health and fitness goal? Well guys, I have two aims, right? My first aim is to lose as much as fat as possible. Now, my the section where I have the most fat is my belly area, guys. I'll be straight up and honest with you lot. That is where I have my most fat and that is where I want to get rid of, yeah? Now, obviously, I don't know how much fat I'll lose, but as much as I can, uh, that is what I want to do and that is my Aim. My second aim is to actually maintain what I already have. I'm not afraid of losing muscle, guys, and I don't think you lot should be too, right? Because that muscle, inshallah, will come back straight after Ramadan. Yeah, so don't be afraid to lose your muscle, right? So, you know, I just want to maintain, like, maintain the motivation that I have of working out so it helps me in the future and for the rest of my life, right? Because I have witnessed and I have done it myself. I've stopped working out during Ramadan and it's affected me big time after Ramadan I found it hard to get back into working out and I don't want to suffer that again and I surely don't want you lot to suffer that too right so they are my two aims what did I do in my previous Ramadan well guys what did I do I stole samosas I'm joking guys um basically samosas guys yeah samosas 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 they were my weaknesses they always are and they always will be I'm always fighting them right every Ramadan you know I make a promise to myself and I kind of always do fail right I say I'm gonna have two samosas per day or two anytime they turn up on the plate right but what happens is I take my brothers I take my sisters I take the extras I take whatever's there right I have it, especially if it's got minced meat. Oh my days. Oh my days. Minced meat samosas. Oh my days. Sorry guys, I just, just imagining the samosas there. But you know what I mean, guys, yeah. There's a certain weakness that you always have food, yeah, during Ramadan, and it's always fighting you, right? And you want to avoid it, but you can't. So samosas is my weakness, and I always fight it every year. Um, so, you know, I'll be fighting that in my previous Ramadans and I will fight it again this year. Hopefully this year, guys, I knock it out, right? And when I mean knock it out, I mean like I avoid it, yeah, not knock it out as in I bite it, eat it, and it's down in my belly, right? So, you know, I just try to avoid it. Now, it's another thing I did in my last Ramadans, I think I mentioned it earlier as well, is the fact that, you know, I've stopped in one Ramadan where I actually stopped working out and um, it affected me i left the, you know it just didn't feel right um i felt all negative i felt lazy i felt less active um so you know what happened was in the next ramadan last year's one which i have vlogs on um so check it out on youtube the other brothers have it as well um last year we went out and we worked out at the gym while fasting and actually it made a massive difference because we still maintained what we had got slightly lean guys I ain't gonna lie i saw some next definition on me guys yeah that i never seen before right so you know it made a difference and i actually you know carried it on after ramadan so which is what i wanted so you know it does make a massive change guys so if you can't work out twice or three times a week if you know at least twice a week yeah, if you can't do that if you can't do three times at least twice a week so you know try and maintain it guys like i said i also did a third thing is i also didn't do much cardio i avoided cardio i don't even think i ever did cardio during ramadan to be honest ever right so you know if i have this probably be once in a while like once a week or something but hardly did any cardio guys yeah so that is something that i need to look into this year what will i do this ramadan um i'm gonna work out two to three times a week yeah um 
aiming for three times a week. If I can't work out three times a week, I'm going to work twice a week, right? Now, the twice a week that I work out will be, um, if I do do twice a week, would be a full body workout, right? So ooh, each day would be a whole full body workout, two sets, eight to 10, eight to 12 reps, right? A full body workout. If I get the chance to work out three times a week, then I would separate the muscle groups. So two muscle groups per day, right? Same again, eight to 12 reps and see how that goes, right? I'll also add cardio in the other days that I'm not working out. So it will be cardio workout and my abs workout. Now cardio, I'll probably do 20 minutes. If I can't do it all these other days, right, then I'll probably do it a few days a week, maybe twice a week um, as well. But it'll be longer, 30 minutes or so, 30 to 30, 40 minutes cardio. If I can't do that, but I'm going to do all the other days where I do maybe 10 minutes or so or 15 minutes cardio just to you know keep that cardio going guys that's what i'm going to do with my cardio and workout now food wise guys many of you asked the question am i going to have my protein shake yes i will have my protein shake and i recommend you got to have your protein shake as well why because it's not a normal day guys you're not going to be eating or drinking throughout the whole day you're not going to be able to bring in your five meals a day or you know have your little snacks here and there um you're not going to be able to eat as much protein or as much carbs in that one meal so a protein shake will you know up those proteins um into your body so i would recommend you look to have it during if that what am i planning to have i'm gonna have um my protein shake for sure and you know inshallah try to have my chicken um, as well and you know see what else is there but obviously avoid all the oily greasy food or the unhealthy food that I think is not right for my body now after Tarawih guys I'm going to be having um, you know fruits right mainly watermelon right because you know it's made out pure, majority of it is pure water so you know i'm gonna have watermelon and of course drink plenty of water throughout iftar to suhoor time suhoor time i'm gonna have most likely brown bread with um boiled eggs and my protein shake I forgot to mention this i used to have a lot of cur um, curry during ramadan in my previous years um and i stopped that last year and you know curry is not good at suhoor time guys <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna lie i had it what can you do guys when your mom is telling you you have curry and rice when she thinks that's the only thing yeah that is actually going to keep you full throughout the whole day and nothing else yeah you're gonna have to kind of have it but this year i'm gonna stay strong <laughs> i'm gonna nicely avoid um you know tell her no i'm not gonna have it she, i've done it last year so i'm gonna carry it on this year she takes the make out of my diet but hey that's motherly love there isn't it yeah so you know protein chicken and meat um it's mentioned this the whole time and of course guys drink plenty of water yeah that is something that i'm gonna do any tips and advice well guys i always have tips and advice for you lot my first tip is to maintain guys like i said before forget losing your muscle is gonna happen you know get with it yeah you're gonna lose your muscle but what you want to do is maintain what you have and carry on working out so you don't you know demotivate yourself in the future right second thing guys is you know eat clean try to eat clean as much as possible right yes there are days where you might fail right you might eat you know that greasy food or you might eat the unhealthy food right but it happens guys we're all humans but don't you know think you know what i've ate an unhealthy food now i'm just going to carry that on throughout the whole ramadan don't do that stop it there had you've had that food oh well get over it yeah next day carry on eating clean if it happens two three times a week it shouldn't but if it does get back onto your eating clean again don't give up don't stop yeah just cause those three days or those two days you eat something unhealthy carry on eat clean drink plenty of water and you know just stick with it guys um that is the only thing that i can say is just to stick with it it'll be tough it'll be hard but as long as you can get that 20 minutes of workout whether it's cardio or even uh walking around the block yeah running around the block or something yeah or you know working out body weights using objects as weights something at least 20 minutes guys it should help you it will help you um you know but try your best to do three times a week if not twice a week with cardio drink plenty of water right i always say this drink plenty of water make sure it's enough because it will help you the next day it'll keep you hydrated throughout the whole day and you know 
that's it guys i don't even think there's anything else right you can also watch my other ramadan vlogs that we have the brothers and myself we have it from last year and what we've done inshallah this year will be different so there you have it guys that's all it is that is what i'm going to do inshallah it has benefited you take some bits out of it and maybe help allow it to help you um like comment and share the video and of course subscribe on youtube twitter instagram facebook because we will be throwing out so many videos at you lot this ramadan 2015 only for the month more videos than ever so stay tuned and until next time guys take care assalamu alaikum